So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch this over to a radar. I'm going to set this for oh the last 15 minutes, and I'm going to set this on a loop, right? So before I go, I'm going to leave this here. This rotation, one last time, is what we're watching. And uh, that red box did fill in, so it does look like we potentially have a tornado south of Carterville. I'm going to go ahead and run into that storm shelter as well. I'm going to leave this up for you. If I can come back out and give updates, I will. But for right now, I'm going to turn my microphone off. I'm going to go that way. And then I'm going to leave this image up for you. And I'm just going to let it play on the air. So one more time, moving towards Spillway Road, south of Carterville. I'm going to leave this up. And again, I will be back as soon as I can.
I was. <laughs> mm -hmm. My mic's on right now. All right, so uh, we are out of our uh, storm shelter now, of course, still keeping a, a close eye on this uh, storm that we've been tracking, making its way through parts of Williamson County. If you're in Marion, you want to be in your safe spot right uh, now. Uh, we're looking at uh, this potentially moving towards Pittsburgh, New Denison. Sorry about that. We had to, uh, again, uh, get the TV station there to shelter there for a few minutes while this storm was making its way through the area. We are still watching this very, very closely. Let's see if we can kind of restart. Let's uh, open up this uh, map here. Here we go. We're going to give you a wide view because there is just so much going on. Of course, the, that was something that we were uh, watching very closely there for a couple of minutes. Here's what we have happening right now. There is so much happening on the radar. We're just going to start uh, right on the storm that we've been tracking, of course, that made its way through uh, here at the TV station. That storm has now been downgraded, which is good news. When we were in the shelter, we were keeping an eye on that velocity. We could see it up on the TV screen. We were watching it with you, even though we weren't on air. Uh, we were back there watching it with you. Once we start, started to see that kind of broaden a bit, that we made the decision to come back out, of course, and uh, make sure... You know, we're here to provide those updates. The circulation is more broad, not as tight as it was. Um, so now it has been downgraded. I don't want to say that it's not a strong storm. It is still a strong storm. But you'll notice that red box is gone. Now we have a severe thunderstorm warning. We have the red lines through it. That means that there is that tornado possible. So still tracking the storm. It is still a very strong storm. But we have let that uh, tornado warning expire or be canceled because uh, it has weakened quite a bit. So we're going to zoom back up here and we're going to pull up those velocities so I can show you exactly what we're talking about, right? So here is the velocity scans that we have been watching very closely here at the TV station. We've been watching them with you guys, uh, you know, at home. When that storm was a bit further uh, off to our west, it was a, a bit tighter. You can see it there um, to the south of Illinois 147, north of Interstate 24. Oh, excuse me. We have gotten moved around here. We've gotten moved around here on the velocity scans. Here we go. Here we go. No, we do still have, excuse, I do not know how that happened. I do apologize for that. Uh, we do have still that tornado orange storm just to the south of Carterville. Reds and greens, very broad though. So let me show you what I was trying to show you here a second ago. Notice what happens when it's back here at the beginning of the warning. Very tight, red next to green, back along the Jackson County, Williamson County line, moving eastward, correct? Moved east and it's starting to broaden a bit. With that said, there is still that uh, tornado warning. This is moving right over the Marion area. If you're in Marion, you want to make sure you're in your safe place. If you're downstream, if you're in Pittsburgh, if you're in uh, Crab Orchard, moving along Illinois 37 and across 13, you want to make sure you're, sa you're in your safe place. So we're still watching this uh, uh, very, very closely. If we pull this up, we'll try to get a box on here, track this out for you. We do have an observed tornado, likely where we saw it very tightened up back along the Jackson County, Williamson County line. A little bit more broad now, so it's safe enough, of course, for us to come out now of the TV station. However, these are moving to the east at about 30 miles per hour. We're going to take this out for the next 30 minutes. That tornado warning doesn't go all the way through Williamson County, but if it were to retighten up, if they were to extend this warning, this is the path that it's going to take. So it would be, uh, again, moving towards the Pittsburgh area within the next 5 to 10 minutes. It's already right over Marion. It'd be moving towards the Pittsburgh area, 
moving towards, uh, again, Crab Orchard, New Hope, uh, the Corinth area. If you see any of your towns, this is kind of your heads up. If it's going to take you a while to get to your safe place, now is the time to do it. Don't wait until this warning is potentially extended. So if you're downstream, even if you're off into the western portions of, let's say, Saline County, now it's your warning. So you'll want to make sure that, uh, again, you're watching this uh, extremely closely. So uh, what we were seeing when we were uh, in the shelter was, uh, again, possibly some videos and pictures Nick, you, I haven't had a chance to look at the chat after uh, coming out mm -hmm. of the shelter. I know you're over there. Have you seen anything yet? Yeah, so I am seeing uh, there were plenty here uh, pictures uh, of the tornado. It was indeed on the ground. That's why they issued uh, that PDS uh, tornado warning uh, because this was on the ground uh, here as we were in uh, Jackson County heading into Williamson County. It has since weakened. Um, but we are, of course, uh, getting reports, and of course I'm seeing pictures here, we're going to try to get them out to you guys, um, of the tornado that was on the ground. Um, so even though it has weakened since, that does not mean uh, this could just be cycling, right? So uh, these sort of systems, they can spawn tornadoes, but they'll go back up, but because the atmosphere is so volatile, uh, these things can easily, uh, uh, you know, bring that tornado right back down to the surf surface uh, just a little bit later. So we're going to want to keep a extremely, we want to be extremely cautious with this as this heads through Marion here. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, do one more track on this as it continues to push through Marion um, because we want, you know, th these are moving pretty quickly here. And so uh, we want to make sure everyone just to the north and east are prepared for this because uh, the atmosphere is conducive for this to continue uh, to at least maybe strengthen um, or at least produce some very strong winds. So you want to be in your safe place if you are uh, in Brushy uh, at 4.07 p.m. This is heading towards you guys, um, 3.50 at Crab Orchard. Um, you definitely want to be in your safe place right now. Raleigh at 422. You want to be in your safe place if this system continues to hold together and head towards your location. Uh, East El Dorado at 432 p.m. You as well. The storm system, if it holds together, is heading towards you. You need to go ahead and be close to your safe shelter. Be ready uh, to uh, move into that shelter. A couple of things we like to tell people is, you know, this was confirmed as a large and dangerous tornado, so we want to make sure when you go to that safe place, you're wearing tennis shoes. Uh, you will have something to be able to cover your heads just in case there is, a, you know, worst case scenario, tons of debris flying around. Uh, you certainly want to be able to cover uh, you and your family's, um, um, uh, you know, heads with, with some sort of either helmet, um, pillows, anything that you can get uh, to really give you that comfort there. Uh, in your safe place, again, the lowest level of your home, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Um, of course, uh, you know, you don't want to be near windows, you want to be at the lowest level because um, that's going to be the safest place. When you see these really big time tornadoes, um, usually the last place standing is that lower level interior room, whether it's a bathroom, whether it's a closet, those are usually uh, the final things left standing. And so that's why we tell you guys uh, to go ahead and get in those areas of your home and or uh, building that you are currently in. So what we're going to do is actually, I'm going to clear this off here and there's plenty other storms uh, we're tracking here. Uh, it's very active across the entire um, area. And so what I'm going to do is just head to the south just a little bit. We actually looks like we have a new tornado warning here. Um, so we have a new tornado warning. And I'm going to go ahead and put this information up on the screen so you can see um, exactly what we're talking about here. This is a uh, tornado warning for Pope County. This goes until 4.15 p.m. Central Time. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a track on this. It does look like uh, it has a little bit of a hook echo. Actually, what we're going to do is look at velocities real quick just to take a peek inside of the storm. So a little bit of uh, some rotation in there. It's not tremendously strong, right? So, we're, you know, that's a good thing, but it's enough rotation to where they went ahead and warned on this thing. This is where that circulation would be right in there. 
Um, and so it, it's weak as of right now, but as we've seen earlier today, uh, plenty of these storms uh, can get going very quickly uh, because of the atmosphere that we have currently uh, above our heads. So uh, what we're going to do is put the radar back on here, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a track on this. Uh, we'll zoom out just a bit, and we'll put a track on where uh, that storm is likely to be. And we're going to push that towards the north and east here. We're talking uh, rock. You need to be in your safe place right now. The storm is heading right over your location here in the next minute or so. Uh, Lusk at 4.03 p.m. Uh, Shetlerville uh, here at 4.08 p.m. Hicks at 4.16 p.m. Elizabethtown at 4.19 p.m. Um, Gross at uh, 4. Uh, 24 p.m. and Sparks Hill at 4.27 p.m. Everyone here needs to be in their safe place uh, right now as this storm continues to push off towards the north and east. Um, th that is our other tornado warning currently going on uh, out there right now. And we're going to go ahead. There's also other hazards here. We're dealing with hail as well. So we'll look at the hail tracker real quick uh, just to see exactly what we're looking at. And you can see this storm particularly doesn't have a lot of hail. That storm that moved uh, into Carbondale with that PDS tornado warning had tons of hail with it. Uh, so that's just another hazard that we are tracking out there. Um, and of course, uh, you know, you just need to be in your safe spot with, you know, of course with this system, this system is out on its own. Uh, it is uh, very much on its own out here, not getting impeded by any other thunderstorms. Uh, and so that is uh, certainly not what we want to see um, in terms of the potential strengthening aspect of this storm. Uh, JC, I know there's a lot going on um, on the radar right now. What are you looking at currently? Okay, so we have started to get, uh, you know, some of those reports coming in. I did uh, get a viewer that said that there was potentially a golf ball size hail on the west side of Marion, which is where we have been tracking that uh, confirmed tornado. So uh, again, west side of Marion is where we saw some fairly large hail. Of course, the tornado is coming through. That was um, what our priority was, but it, large hail possible with any of these storms as they're uh, making their way through the region. That uh, tornado warning still in place uh, for parts of Williamson County. So we're still keeping a very close eye on that. The tornado warning is still over Marion. Like we were talking about earlier, this all looks so much better than it did earlier. So when that tornado warning dropped down, we had some really tight, excuse me, reds and greens right over Jackson County and moving into Williamson County. Now they've started to push eastward, but they're a lot more broad. So that's better. That's the more of what we would want to see. So that is uh, start, starting to weaken. Is it still a strong storm? Yes. Do we still need to keep an eye on it? Yes. If you are in the path of the storm, do you need to seek shelter? Yes. But it looks better than it did earlier which is, uh, again, certainly some good news. What I do want to pull up is I want to pull up that hail tracker. We've gotten several reports of large hail, some of that, again, on the west side of Marion, which you can see very well here. Here's Interstate 57, Marion, west side. You've got these purples showing up, getting reports of golf ball and ping pong size ball, ping pong size hail. And notice where that started, back where we saw that rotation tighten up, and then it continued this way. We are talking about that broader rotation. You can tell the storm's also weakening by just looking at this hail tracker. We're not seeing the bright blues and purples that we were seeing earlier. That has weakened, and we're starting to see smaller hail, still tracking gusty winds again, and that potential for some small hair, hail. You know, what we haven't talked a lot about is some of our counties to our north because this is, of course, not the only storm that we're tracking, right? So there is a lot going on through Jefferson County, Franklin County, and then extending into northern Williamson County as well. We do have uh, a very strong storm making its way into the area. I'm going to pop this box up on here to give you some information because we have not been able to talk about it too much so far. Pop that in there. There we go. Here's that severe thunderstorm warning that's further to the north. So if you're uh, through the northern portion of the viewing area and you're wondering what's going on, there is a severe thunderstorm warning 
in place for Franklin, Jackson, Jefferson, and Williamson counties. A very big warning as storms are starting to work their way into the region. So these are starting to move into the Spring Garden area, uh, going to be moving across Interstate 57, and then eventually working its way into Hamilton County. Hamilton County, you're not in any warnings right now, but you have this storm here just off to the west. You have this storm to your south. It's working its way to the north and east. If you're in Hamilton County, now's the time. They wouldn't be looking at these storms and thinking, how long is it going to take me to get to my safe place? Do I need to leave now? Even though you're not under that warning yet. This severe thunderstorm warning that has been issued just off again through Jefferson County, Franklin County, northern parts of Williamson County, 70 mile per hour winds, and about uh, golf ball size hail. So not uh, a storm that you want to be out in. Of course, you want to seek shelter with that as well. 70 mile per hour winds can do some serious damage. This severe thunderstorm warning is in place until 415. So that is through the northern portions of the viewing area. So we're going to start there and we're going to work our way south. So widening out this view just a little bit to give you an idea of where we're looking at. We are focused on that, uh, again, northern storm. Pushing further to the south, that storm that did have the tornado warning on it has been continued but not as a tornado warning, which is exactly what we want to see. We were talking about that rotation starting to broaden. So it wasn't quite as tight as what we were seeing when that warning was issued. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning, though, that has been extended off of that tornado warning that goes until 430. So this is going to be for parts of Hamilton County, parts of Saline County, parts of Williamson County, and parts of Franklin County. Now, there is still a tornado possible tag on this because that's where we did see that confirmed tornado. We could see this cycling possibly and maybe re-tighten up. So even though it's not a tornado warning, you don't want to let your guard down. We are tracking this, making its way to the north and east at about 30 miles per hour. So Galatia, you need to be in your safe place right now. Harrisburg, you are under this severe thunderstorm warning. And if I were you, I would consider heading to my safe place uh, as well because even without a tornado on this storm, like many of the others, we're talking about 70 mile per hour winds and hail. That's uh, about an inch in diameter. An inch in diameter is about a quarter. So decent size hail. And then of course, um, those very strong winds, those are moving into uh, the Galatia area into Saline County and moving probably just to the strongest part of the storm, making its way just to the north of Harrisburg. But if I were in Harrisburg, I would consider also, uh, again, heading to my safe place. This storm, obviously capable of producing a tornado, because it did, as it made its way through Williamson County. It's substantially weaker than it was when it made its way through Williamson County. But with that said, uh, still uh, not safe to be out in this. So I'm going to draw a track on this east, about 30 miles per hour. I'm going to take this about 45 minutes out. So it's going to go past the warning, but it'll give you an idea of where it's headed downstream. So New Hope, this storm is almost right on top of you. Uh, Harco, get to your safe place. Galatia, Raleigh, Wasson, El Dorado, Rector, Texas City. You see any of your town names showing up? Uh, again, you'll want to make sure, head to your safe place. You don't want to be out with this 70 mile per hour winds, quarter size hail. I'm going to clear this out. We're going to widen out the view again so we can get our bearings on where we are, what we're talking about. We have those storms to our north. We have the one that dropped the tornado in Williamson County. Now we're going to move south to the storm in Polk County. So we've also been watching this storm. This is not, uh, this is a tornado warning. However, it has not been confirmed. So we do have that tornado warning radar indicated for Pope County until 415. Not seeing as big of hail with this one. Um, not to say that uh, it's not a concern, but uh, not seeing quite as much hail with this. The strongest part of this storm, uh, likely seeing just to the south of Eddyville, but the northern portions of the storm is making its way through the Eddyville area right now. Again, this is in Pope County. I'm going to pull up the velocities and we're going to look at that rotation and see how that's looking. Uh, the rotation looks pretty broad. 
So that's exactly what we want to see. We had this tornado worn storm through parts of Pope County, right along, it looks like Illinois 145. The worn part of the storm may be grazing the southern portions of Eddyville. This is just to the north of Golconda, moving towards 34. But that rotation, not nearly as tight as what we are tracking through Williamson County. So that's what we want to see. Of course, we do still have that tornado worn storm. If you're in the path of this storm, this storm is certainly capable of tightening up. If you are in that warning, you want to make sure you're seeking shelter. But right now, this is pretty broad. That's exactly uh, what we would like to see. We don't want to see that tightening up. Switching back to the wider view, we've also seen a lot of activity across parts of western Kentucky. We do still have several warnings going on further south. So we're going to move out of southern Illinois, pushing this view further south. So right now, we do still have a severe thunderstorm warning that is in place for Callaway County. It's uh, right over, of course, actually the strongest part of the storm is just moved past Murray. But uh, again, Callaway County under that uh, severe thunderstorm warning, looks like parts of that is now being carved out because that storm is starting to push east through the eastern half of the county. We've got, uh, again, radar indicated. We're talking 60 mile per hour winds and that potential for quarter size hail. So uh, again, tracking this very, very closely as well, just to the south of Callaway County. Now, technically, this is just outside of our viewing area, but if you have any friends a little bit further south in Perrier or Paris, we do have another tornado worn cell to the south, moving to the north and east. Now, with this particular cell, it's moving to the northeast, right? So it's very close to our area, however, I do think it's going to continue just outside of our viewing area. But if you have any friends or family that live, uh, again, in northwest Tennessee, near Paris, south of Pier, per, excuse me, per year, you want to make sure you check on them. Uh, Nick, uh, as things are starting to uh, calm down, maybe where we saw all of that activity mm -hmm. uh, in parts of Williamson County, have there been any other reports coming down? Um, other than we getting, we're getting uh, some hail reports as well. Uh, we're getting some penny-sized hail reports over in Marion. Uh, so plenty of hail in this system. A lot of these systems, they've been uh, big hail producers, but also accumulating hail producers. So we're seeing uh, the systems drop so much hail that it's starting to accumulate on the ground and on all of the surfaces. So again, we'll take a look at this radar. What we also haven't talked about uh, too much, which of course is obviously uh, uh, also important here, is the flash flooding threat. I mean, we're seeing tons of rainfall with these systems. We do have a flash flood warning for Jackson uh, and Perry counties here. Uh, that's because these storms, uh, I'll turn off the uh, watches and warnings for just a brief second here, uh, and I'll loop this for uh, about the past uh, hour here. Uh, and we can see they've kind of been uh, just tracking here over the same kind of areas. Uh, and I'll circle it here. You can see all of that. You're getting hit with multiple cells uh, of just extreme rainfall. Uh, so that's something we're also watching is the threat. You know, we've already seen rain here over the past couple uh, of days and even weeks. So our ground is already saturated. And so all of this heavy rain from these big time uh, super cells that are moving through, that's going to produce also extremely treacherous driving conditions, flash flooding potential as well. Um, and so that's what uh, we're obviously uh, worried about on top of, of course, the severe thunderstorm warnings and also uh, the tornado warnings that we do still have active out there. Um, the thing that, you know, what we were talking about the past couple of days, this is all pre-line activity here. If we move out towards the west, look at all this activity out in Missouri right now. I mean, we're talking uh, still plenty of cells uh, going on currently out here towards the west. These cells, um, and I'll go ahead and circle them here, all of this activity that we're seeing out here, this is pushing off and towards our viewing area. Okay, and so this is what we believe will start to congeal into some sort of line, a uh, straight line uh, where you'll see a lot, a lot of straight line wind damage with this uh, as well. So, you know, we're getting these intense storms over us right now, but now is not the time uh, to really go out of your safe place. We're not out of the woods here uh, with this system. 
as it continues to push through. I mean, look at all of these supercells that we're tracking out there. This is what we were really worried about over the past couple of days, this prefrontal convection that we're getting. Um, and so what we're going to do is put on some of these warnings here, see what we got. We still have this uh, a tornado warning here um, uh, over uh, in, uh, it looks like, let's see, let's pop this information up so you all can see it as well. Uh, we do have this tornado warning uh, for uh, Pope County here. This is a radar-indicated tornado, so we have not seen a confirm confirmation out of this. But it's one of those cells that uh, are kind of alone, and if they're alone out there and kind of not being impeded by uh, any other systems, you, you see how it's kind of just kind of by itself here uh, as we continue to push forward. We have to watch this little notch right here. That's where that rotation could end up spinning up. It could really uh, take a hold of this environment that's currently in place over our area and therefore produce potentially a tornado. So let's go ahead and look at the velocities on this thing. Just see how it looks over the past uh, few scans here. Um, and we'll zoom into it as well here. Give me one second, we'll zoom it close in. It looks like, thankfully, uh, not seeing a tremendously too strong of an act uh, of a couplet here, but we do have to watch this as it continues to push towards the north and east. We'll throw a track on this here real quick, um, and we'll, we'll throw that radar up, and we'll throw that track on here uh, real quick as it moves to uh, the north and east. Give me one second, and here we go. So we're going to move this. It's going to be heading over um, into Hardin County. Uh, we're talking Lusk at 406. You need to be in your safe place right now. Uh, Elizabethtown, you need to be in your safe place. This is coming towards you at 423 p.m. Uh, Cave and Rock, 439. If this holds together, it will be in your uh, neck of the woods. And of course, you know, with all the cells that we've seen today, I don't see why uh, this storm wouldn't continue to push uh, towards the east and uh, still sustain itself as uh, we continue moving forward. Now, we did.